Hello! As part of our geometry unit, we learn how to construct a perfect square using just string and straight edge, or in today's terms, a compass and a ruler. And so this is the chapter which explains how to do this, and we're going to do this again with a compass and a ruler and pencil and paper. And so the first thing you want to do is make a circle in the center of your paper and I'm just trying to get the largest circle possible and I'm moving the paper rather than the compass I find it's a little bit easier and I'm just gonna go ahead and mark that center point and then I need to draw the diameter and you can place this anywhere so I'm gonna put it a little bit askew just to emphasize that we're going to make a square within this circle and we're not using the corners of our paper to find it so the next thing you want to do is readjust your compass so that it is larger than the radius and then you're going to make two arcs that intersect the circle on either side. Now you want to keep doing this by readjusting your compass until the arcs cross each other. So it took me a couple of times to do this and I finally erased some of the lines so that I wouldn't confuse myself as I got nearer and nearer to the arcs crossing each other. So now that I've got those two points, I can draw my other line, which actually you don't need to do. You can at this point just connect all four points and you will have constructed the perfect square. So this was pretty thrilling to do. It did take a couple of of uh, attempts with the, drawing the arcs and it actually took me a few times to read that section in the book and, and make sense of it. So now I'm just going to check the corners of my box to make sure that they are indeed 90 degrees and they are okay so there's the box. So now we're going to do a different method for finding um, a perfect square and this time I'm just using a torn piece of paper again to emphasize that we are going to be um, getting um, a square and, and we're not using the corners of the paper to do this because we take for granted that right angles are all around us but we can't actually make them on our own without a little bit of math. So at this point I am drawing um, six arcs along the circumference of the circle by placing my um, compass at the circumference and drawing an arc and then I will place my compass at the next um, arc and then draw another arc. So when, once you get six arcs you can connect two of these adjacent points and then you can connect them together and in this way we will have constructed a rectangle. But we want a square. So with our compass, we have it set still at the radius, which is the short side of this rectangle. And we are going to make an arc right through this line right here. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And so this arc is going to give us the other side of the square. So now we can connect those two points. And now we've made a, a square and we don't need that rectangle on the side. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this little math tutorial and you want to see how we put together our unit study for math, you can click the right side of the screen and if you want to see a really quick video on the interior angles of a triangle, you can click the left side of the screen and if you're on a mobile device, I'll add the links to those videos in the description below and as always, you can check out my website at pepperandpine.com. Okay guys, thanks for watching.